What's up, meatbags? It's the Alpha Imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD, and you're watching a clip from the latest Gabby with Geeks live stream. Now, if you like what you see, like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, with that all out of the way, let's get into the latest clip from Gabby with Geeks. Now, but did you know that Xbox Game Pass missed their target by about 10 million? Uh, yeah. Didn't we already cover this? We didn't know it was, was that, just... to that degree, though, did we? Yeah. Uh, Microsoft has mix, missed Xbox Game Pass subscriber target by 10 million. This is from Muhammad Ali Bari uh, at Twisted Voxel. Uh, there's no date on the article. so This this is an update then to the one he wrote before, wasn't it? Because he wrote about missing the t uh, target, but not by any specific number. Yeah. Wasn't it? Uh, all right. So Microsoft has missed out on the forecast and subscriber target for its for its subscription for its subscription service Xbox Game Pass by 10 million subscribers. In its response to the CMA's issued statement published on 14th of October 2022, Microsoft has stated that it has fallen short of hitting its estimated subscriber target for Xbox Game Pass by 10 million subscribers. Wow, that's just you just basically wrote this sentence again over here. According to Microsoft, Game Pass accounted for less than 5% by value of digital distribution of gaming content globally. Everybody's telling me, get Game Pass, get Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass, right? But apparently no one actually has Game Pass because it's only 5% of the digital distribution uh, globally. Mm. It says, even just looking at multi-game subscription services alone, it is Sony, which is larger in revenues today. Since its launch in 2017, Game Pass has gradually grown to approximately 25 million subscribers. As mentioned above, this is 10 million fewer, 28%, than what was forecasted by the company for fiscal year 2022. Uh, the software giant states that much of the existing growth has come from an undisclosed number of Xbox console users account for an undisclosed percentage of subscribers across all, all Game Pass. We don't know. We're, there is a number that we're not telling you with an unknown number percentage that we're not telling you fucking microsoft uh, microsoft argues that in reality game pass has no market power today uh, maybe this maybe this is microsoft planning this story to be like see we're not going to have a monopoly guys give us activision because we, we can't even get fucking game pass uh, for people to buy like so sony's killing it with their their playstation plus uh, people will still buy that don't worry about it Uh, says, in reality, Game Pass has no market power today. The company asked the CMA to show that Activision content, specifically Call of Duty, is important to subscription services, but has enough market power to power up Game Pass and accelerate its growth way beyond anything that the service has been able to achieve to, thus far. It also asked CMA to show that this alone will undermine and weaken all other subscription services that either do not exist yet or currently do not rely on Activision content for any of their offerings. Microsoft finds either scenario extremely implausible. See, that's exactly what I said. Uh, Microsoft's trying to say, see, guys, we don't have any market power. And even if we get Activision, it's not going to boost sales of Game Pass by such a huge degree that we're going to dominate the market. Uh, do, you, do you believe this, Bob? Mm, no. No, I think you may be right. There's something in that. Appear weak so that they can... Or appear weaker than what? Oh, are. yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, for sure, I agree with that. Uh, agree Blinded with says, "Wow, you're telling Phil Spencer is a liar and Xbox overhyped Game Pass." <laughs> yeah, uh, I think this is this is them planning that they planned the story uh, that isn't necessarily true in order to appear weaker in the market so that uh, the Activision deal will go through. Previously, it was reported that Microsoft has invested less than less than between one million to upwards of one hundred million on deals for Xbox Game Pass subscription service, according to the LinkedIn profile. Wait, you can't look at LinkedIn profiles. I, I was told that was harassment. <laughs> of Xbox Game Pass content strategist Ben Favreau, he has worked at Microsoft on Xbox Game Pass deals of all sizes, ranging from less than one million to over one hundred dollars, one hundred million opportunities. 
Uh, such content investment has grown Game Pass from 10 million to over 25 million subscribers. Uh, why, why do you think that there's uh, such a low number of Game Pass subscribers? I didn't think there was, it was as low as that. I thought it was a lot more. I mean, everybody makes it seem like it's a lot more. Bob, you got Game Pass, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one. <laughs> I would I honestly thought at least more than half of the people that owned the Xbox had Game Pass. That's how it always seemed to me. But it doesn't seem like that. Well, how many Xbox, uh, what are the sales? You probably have to include Xbox One as well. I'm just saying, how, what are the sales on the Series S and the X? No idea. 6.5 million for the uh, X and S. So they're counting the, the one as well then if they're yeah, if they're saying they're, sh they're short by ten million. Yeah, but you there's fifty eight million Xbox One sold, but well, you, you can don't also need, you don't need an Xbox for games. Yeah, you, can, you have it on PC as well, can't you? So yeah, yeah, but are they including that in they, this? They would have to. That's Game Pass, isn't it? No, but uh, it's PC Game Pass. True, because they're saying Xbox Game Pass subscriber yeah. target. Is it not the same library of games, no? Doesn't matter. They, they put a different name on it. Okay. Because if they'd said Xbox Ultimate Game Pass subscriber, like, they might be uh, conflating numbers. They, they might be using semantics to... to... Yeah, creative accounting. Yeah. yeah. Because it'd be like saying, well, there's only, you know, 100 PlayStation Plus Premium accounts. You're like, yeah, but how many have the regular one, right? Like... Because it looks like it looks like the UK's competition markets authority is causing the hold up now. So maybe they're just trying to massage the numbers for them. Yeah, that's what I think's going on here. I think there's some uh, creative accounting going on, some massaging of the numbers. Because your your US uh, equivalent has passed this, hasn't it? Yeah, we don't care about this shit. These are kids' toys. Who cares? Uh. Uh, what, what do you think, Bob? Final conclusion? Um, game, but game Pass is overhyped and Phil Spencer lies. Ooh. Thank you for watching another clip from Gaming with Geeks. And remember, you can catch Gaming with Geeks live every Saturday at 7.05 Central Standard Time. That's right. We go two, three, four hours. Sometimes we go all night and we're always having fun. And if you're looking to see more from the show that this clip was taken from, you can click the link that's on your screen right now, or you can enjoy another video from this channel by clicking the other link. And remember, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Thank you. And as always, love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.